Have you ever wondered how the shiny metals we use every day are extracted from the earth? Well, it's not as simple as picking up a shiny nugget. Metals in their natural state often exist as part of complex mineral structures, buried deep within our planet's crust. Extracting them requires a fascinating blend of science, technology, and sheer human determination. It's a world of drills, blasts, and behemoth machines. In this video, we will delve into three common methods of metal mining, open pit, underground, and placer mining. Imagine a massive hole in the ground as big as a city, with layers that resemble a giant amphitheater. That's open pit mining for you. Open pit mining is a method that involves digging a vast hole in the Earth's surface, almost like scooping out a gigantic portion of the crust. The goal is to extract metals that lie close to the surface. Picture it as a colossal Earth excavation project where metals are the prized treasure. What makes open pit mining the most common method? It's down to its cost effectiveness and efficiency. It's like picking an apple from a tree instead of digging up the roots to find one. But as with all things, there's a flip side. This method leads to significant environmental degradation. It's akin to leaving a scar on the face of Mother Earth. So that's open pit mining, a method as effective as it is impactful on our environment. But what if the metals are deep underground, hidden away from the surface? That's when underground mining comes into play. This method is like taking an elevator ride that goes only one way, down. It involves digging tunnels and shafts into the earth, a journey to the heart of our planet, to reach buried ore deposits. It's a bit like a treasure hunt, only the X on the map is buried deep beneath layers of rock and soil. Now, underground mining isn't for the faint of heart. It's more expensive and dangerous than other methods, but sometimes, it's the only way to reach deep-seated deposits. Think of it as a necessary leap of faith into the unknown, with the hope of striking gold, or copper, or any other precious metal that lies beneath. But let's shift gears for a moment and consider a different scenario. What if the metals aren't buried deep within the earth, but rather, are mixed up in riverbeds or beach sands? Enter placer mining. This method involves extracting metals that have been washed out from their natural place by erosion and collected downstream. It's like panning for gold, only on a much larger scale. From deep within the earth to the flowing rivers, mankind has devised ways to reach precious metals wherever they might be. Let's recall the incredible journey we've taken today from the giant open pits to the dark underground tunnels and the sparkling riverbeds. We've learned that open pit mining is efficient for minerals near the surface, while underground mining extracts deeper deposits. Placer mining, on the other hand, harvests precious metals from streams and rivers. These methods not only provide the metals we use daily, but also carry significant environmental implications. Next time you use a metallic object, remember the remarkable journey it has taken from the heart of the earth to your hands. Until next time, keep exploring.